the world is so big and there's so much information for everyone, but to really understand what's going on, you need to be there. But that's hard, you can't be everywhere, you can't visit every place. Uh, so what I try to do is to place people inside these important stories about our planet, so you can get to explore something as though you were actually there. In 2015, photojournalist and interactive storyteller Martin Edstrom traveled to a remote area of Vietnam near the Laos border. His expedition intended to capture immersive images of the world's largest cave. So we're in Vietnam, we're heading into the world's largest cave, Son Dong, and we're going to create an interactive story with 360 degree images from all over the cave. Sun Dong, meaning Cave of the Mountain River, was first discovered in 1991 by a local and is estimated to be between two and five million years old. Believed to be the largest in the world, Sun Dong is more than three miles long, with chambers large enough to hold an entire city block of New York City skyscrapers. I have a cold sensation along my spine feeling like how how on earth are we going to be able to capture this place? Just to create one single 360 degree location, we have to take around 400 images. So we're, we're going to take thousands to be able to cover the whole place. We're walking through a big dark cave. We can see nothing but our headlights. And then we see daylight that's actually inside the cave. Light seeps in through parts of the cave that have either collapsed or deteriorated, forming sinkholes, also known as dolines. They named the first doline, Watch Out for Dinosaurs. And that's really the feeling you get when you walk inside that place, because you emerge from the darkness of the previous passage into this green landscape inside the cave, and you really feel like there could be dinosaurs or some prehistoric creatures living there. We're standing in one of the dolines, the collapsed sinkholes uh, of, uh, that makes Sundong so special, where daylight comes in and there's a forest growing. It's an absolutely amazing atmosphere and it's hard to take in, it's breathtaking uh, and absolutely huge. Eric and Sebastian are uh, trying to rig for lighting up this part of the cave so we don't just get a black hole. Katja is down there and we're, we're going to get two lights trying to illuminate what we can. Working with a cave this size is just insane. I mean, the lights we have are nothing compared to what we have to light up. But I think we're, uh, I think it's turned out, it's turned out pretty well. What I want to convey is the feeling of being there, about walking through this pristine, beautiful place, this cave in Vietnam, and making people realize that places like this are part of our heritage and need to be preserved.